Welcome to the video tutorial for the Cascade Control System of the AV booth for basic functions. To begin, press the power button in the center of the screen. You will see it now asks you whether or not you really want to start the audiovisual system. We are going to say yes, absolutely. Now we have the option as to whether or not we want to use any of the video projectors. Let's say today we're going to show a movie. I'm going to choose between no projectors, all projectors, left and right, or just the center. For this function, we're going to select all projectors. You will notice that now we are prompted to wait for the system to turn on, and you shall see that all three of the projector screens are now being lowered. At this point, if we wanted to set up a microphone, we could. All you have to do is say, select a microphone from the cabinet. In this case, we have microphone number three. To turn it on, just simply come and press the power button until the light turns green on the microphone. Now the microphone is on. As you can tell, I can speak on the microphone and you can hear it over the audio system. If I wanted to just adjust the volume on that microphone itself, we can come directly to the faders page where we can select from all the different microphone volumes. Here we have our sources as far as our video sources for volumes on fader one and everything else is labeled accordingly uh, for microphone number three which is displayed by the sticker on the mic we can come over to w mic three to increase or lower the volume you can either tap multiple times or you can hold your finger on the uh, volume up or down arrow you can also mute the microphone from here um, or if you want to control the overall volume, you have your master volume control at the bottom of the page. Let's go back and actually turn on a Blu-ray player. So if we want to show a DVD, we come back to our activities page. Again, if we're in the faders, we can either hit the back button or the home activities button. And we're going to select watch a Blu-ray. At this point, it is going to turn on the Blu-ray player, as you can see by the friendly hello down below and it's also going to switch the projectors over to the Blu-ray DVD input. If uh, we look up, we will see that our projectors are now showing our Denon Blu-ray DVD player on the screens. We will also see the Denon Blu-ray DVD player featured on the Booth TV. Here we can either load the disc by opening the tray from the touch screen or by opening the tray from the hard eject button on the player itself. I'm going to use the touch screen. Now I can grab my DVD, load it in, and I could say close tray from the touch screen. We will see that it's going to load the disc, and as it loads the disc, it shall automatically play the movie. Now since this movie had been started before, it had remembered the position of that movie and had started again. Uh, from here, we can hit pause, stop, next chapter, previous chapter, all from the player, or we can actually do it up from the touchscreen itself. So I will go ahead and hit the pause button, and I can go ahead and hit the play button. If at any point we want to feature the subtitles of the movie, we also have our subtitles button right here. Or we can also go back to our home menu uh, by hitting the home button, and that brings you to the DVD menu. Um, and you can now hit stop on the Blu-ray DVD and we can go back to our home activities page or we can select the home button here. If we did not want to watch a Blu-ray, we could have simply selected to watch cable TV by selecting the watch cable button. Here it will change the source on all three projectors to the cable box uh, to where we see the inauguration of our new president currently. And it will also change the booth TV to that source. Here we can select different channels. We also have a favorite channel shortcut. If I wanted to choose a different station and did not want to watch our new president get inaugurated, uh, we can select a different TV channel. Um, from here, we can go back to our activities page once again. Uh, in order to control volume, by the way, whether we're in the Blu-ray or the watch cable page, um, since I selected the watch cable button again, it is running the whole macro to uh, change all the inputs to the cable. I can come here to our faders. I can 
adjust just the volume for the cable box or I can adjust the master overall volume. We could have always done that back from this page on the master overall volume as well. If I come back to my home activities page, I can say uh, we want to show a PC presentation via the uh, click box screen share application. By doing so, it's now changing the inputs to all the screens over to the click share PC presentation app. Um, if you would like to use this, you may need to download the application onto your PC or iPad by going to www.clickbox.com slash downloads. At, at that point, once you have the application installed on the device, you will need to follow the prompt on the uh, video screens uh, in order to use the ClickShare application. It will give you the ClickShare device name as well as show you a password. Again, if you need to control the audio, you can go straight to our faders page and you'll see that the first fader has now been selected over to click. So we can turn up the volume for just the click uh, versus turning it up overall for the click and all the microphones. As mentioned earlier, once you download that app on your PC, you will see that there is a device ID and password being displayed on all the screens uh, in order to get you to connect to your Click Screen Share device via Wi-Fi. Again, that will work on your PCs, Macs, and your iPads. We'll go back to our Home Activities page and say we want to show our Vaudio camera system on all the screens. Now we can select the Vaudio cameras activity and it will switch over all three of our screens uh, including our booth TV to the Vaudio camera system. At this point you would want to use the Vaudio camera system to control the camera. You can now use the joystick to zoom in and out via a counterclockwise or clockwise twist of the joystick. You can then go right or left, up and down, so on and so forth, and this is being displayed on all of your screens. Now that we have set all this up, we are done with our event, and we need to shut the system down. To do so, on any of your screens, you will notice that there is a power down icon in the lower right hand corner. Go ahead and click on that icon. Here you can select specific components in the system to power down, uh, or you can power down the entire system by simply touching all off. I will go ahead and hit the all off button, and you will see the please wait logo, and you will notice that all three screens are automatically being raised up, and everything in the entire booth is being powered down automatically for you. At this point, you are done using the system and you can leave the booth comfortably. If for any reason you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always go back to our original splash screen and select the professionally installed electronics logo to get my personal cell phone number and email address for technical support or for, again, your questions, comments, and concerns. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed your video tutorial for the basic functions of your Cascade control system to the audiovisual booth. Goodbye.